FAPESP is a research funding agency in the state of Sao Paulo, Brazil. It funds research in all areas of knowledge. Microsoft Research and FAPESP started collaborating as a joint research center back in 2006. We work on a call for proposal basis, so researchers from the state of Sao Paulo are invited to submit proposals, and we co-fund research. The FAPESP Microsoft Joint Research Center is a collection of research projects which are selected by FAPESP and by Microsoft Research, mostly in fields related to the environment. Our objective is to somehow assess the impact of climate changes on plants. My role in this project is to develop uh, a set of computer science applications, tools, and algorithms that could help in the data analysis, in the data acquisition, and also in the data mining process. In this project, we have two teams. The first one, um, based on UNESP University, is in charge of the phenology aspects. The second team, at uh, UNICAM in the RECOD lab is in charge of developing the computer science tools. Phenology is the study of recurrent life cycle events, such as the flowering, leafing, bird migration, and its relationship with climate. And that's why phenology is nowadays one of the best indicators of climate change. Traditionally, the phenology is done on the ground through on-the-ground observations, and this takes a lot of time. We have an e-phenology core site, which is in the Cerrado Savana. And in this site, we have the tower with the digital camera photographing the vegetation, and then we take daily photographs of the vegetation. Then we can see the changes on the vegetation, and we validate this camera data with this on-the-ground observation. E phenology compared with the, with the traditional underground phenology is much more efficient. We can have much more information with l less human labor. But also, one thing that is very important is that we can repeat that over a large number of sites, what is nearly impossible with this on the ground traditional phenology. We have different um, outcomes in this project. From the computer science perspective, we have been developing some algorithms for image processing, data analysis based on database features, also some techniques based on machine learning approaches. From the phenology perspective, we have been developing some models to establish connections between image features and phenology data that have been obtained. The Joint Research Center provides two main benefits for us as researchers. The first one has allowed us to do risk research on the edge of knowledge without constraints. And the second one has put us to work together with computer scientists, which expand our possibilities to answer questions, analyze data, and open up a lot of new horizons for our research. So that's a win-win. We can focus on problems that are strategic, very relevant to the humankind, and at the same time, those problems pose a challenge to computer scientists, and we can advance the state of the art in computer science. If you invent a new tool that can observe or measure something nobody could do before, that's when you have a chance of doing new science. This new generation of researchers, they're going to be, I believe, much more skilled than the previous one we had because they are being trained in the skills from plant ecology and from computer science. So we are building up a new generation of researchers through this joint research center. Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available.